Hi there, seven figure solopreneurs. And yes, they do exist. Many people, when they hear the word solopreneur, they think of a hobbyist, you know, running a little bit of a business on the side, outside of work hours, or they think it's a, you know, one person turning over a little bit of income, maybe a, a wage enough to say that they're self-employed. Not a lot of people hear the word solopreneur and they think of six, seven figures, well-structured, well-organized machines of businesses, which is what they're really capable of being. And I want to share a few tips with you. If you're a solopreneur, you know, you need to consider how you'll get to six and seven figures because you're well and truly capable of doing that. Now, one of the things that um, solopreneurs do is they have a clear strategy. If they want to be really successful, they have a very clear strategy and they run a lean machine. The biggest difference between a solopreneur and an entrepreneur is that a solopreneur is not in partnership. So they, they carry the load and they don't have paid employees. You might find other differences, but they're the, the key ones. So a solopreneur, they are lean, but that doesn't mean they can't be really successful. And one of the things that I like to say a lot is that we want to get better, not necessarily bigger. We had a very large team in our business. We had a team of 25 back in 2014, 15, and then the industry collapsed and we lost all of our projects. And suddenly we had all of these huge overheads that we had to meet with no income coming in. And needless to say, I'm here. So we did survive that, which was very strategic. But as we've climbed back up, we've kept things really, really lean. And so we make sure that things are systemized and automated and we outsource. So we don't carry all of those overheads. And I really recommend that to the people that I work with. My program, Solo by Design, I actually call the women in that group Solisters, which is She Who Leads. It's actually Italian. I'm married to an Italian. But it stands for She Who Is Leading. I show my solicitors how they can really keep things lean while they grow. So getting your business really systemized is key. And look, everything I know about solopreneurs who are really successful and they are earning six and seven figures is they know who they are. They know themselves really well. They know what value they bring to the table. They know their product really well. They know the problem that they solve and they know their avatar. They know their avatar really well. They know the people that they serve. And, you know, I always say that I can go out for dinner with my avatar and I know I'm going to enjoy myself because I know her so well and we get along really well. So getting super clear on those absolute fundamentals is really clear. And look, don't think that as a solopreneur, you've got to do everything because of course you can't. If you're going to work on your business and be strategic and work out how you're going to scale your business, you can't do that if you're doing social media posts or you know, getting caught in the weeds of the administration. All of that is systemized, automated, and outsource. If somebody can do it 80% as well as you can do it, you need to get them doing it. So you can look at how you increase your revenue and everything else that is going to make you a seven figure solopreneur, because that's the way to go. That's where you should be. And another real key, I think, and it's certainly something that served me really well is to have a great mentor, you know, have a mentor and a community that guides you, you know, and that shows you the shortcuts and shows you the way and supports you as you're doing that. And I've had my mentors and I still do all nighters every week with my mentors and with my inner circle, my key community. And that's vital because one of the big traps for solopreneurs particularly is we can become isolated and then with that there's all sorts of issues and what's the saying isolation is the killer of dreams so make sure you're not isolated so streamlined systemized automated and supported you know that you've got your mentors and your community 
But think about your business. How long will it take you to get to seven figures? And what do you need to do to get there? Have an awesome day. Bye.